After 40 years of thinking about it, it took buying a boat to tip me over the edge and take the pledge. You're now looking at a proud Aussie. All that's left now is to finish off the packing, say goodbye to my Hobart family, and head off to New Zealand for what I call my just-in-case trip. If I was to call somewhere home, this would be it. This is where my love and passion for sailing was fostered as a young child. It's uh, my home sailing club as a kid. Well, one of two. And it's called Waiaki. Probably most people know it as Tor Bay, but it's a little bay called Waiaki. And uh, it would be pretty well my favourite place in Auckland. The fact that I still have family and friends here uh, means I'm still connected to it, but I'll always be connected. It's, a, it's an awesome place. I love it. I could easily live here again if I could afford it, of course. Yeah, he That's the one that changed the world. Because we won it then. And Cecily's boat. Ah, you video. Yeah, I'm doing a bit of video, yeah. All right. So it's a little different. Oh, Gary. <laughs> so then we put a big um, foiling main on there. Does that pull us out of the boom? Oh, serious? Yeah, it's brilliant. Ooh. And one came up over here. So what 
are they called then, did you say again? These are necros, I'm just not sure what the name Sorry, is. not the necros, the guys on board. Are these but the, the performance? They're in the what performance is, squad. Performance they squad. have a youth squad, which yeah. has 50 of them. And I think there's 10 or 8 of them in this. Okay. Um, a paycheck or something? For a paycheck, sort of yeah! Should there should be a paycheck! <laughs> Like compensation, they'd probably call it. Yeah, yeah. Call for roll. morning here we are on the uh, the uh, the trip up north to Matacana to see Merlin Ford and uh, we've known each other for a long time they were play they played a pivotal role in my uh, especially my teenage years growing up in New Zealand and um, yeah it's always great to catch up so <clears throat> this is one of the many places I'll be visiting to catch up with friends and relatives on this uh, on this trip, but look at that, uh, look at that view, isn't it awesome? This is uh, typical New Zealand countryside, just fantastic. These roads here used to be uh, dirt roads, and in uh, in my youth, when we first got our licences at about 15, 16 year, years old, we used to uh, frequent this place, and uh, probably learnt to do all the. Uh, all the slide outs and so on. <laughs> Probably learned to drive quite defensively because of these uh, windy dirt roads. But it's yeah, just an awesome spot. It's always great to catch up with family and friends in New Zealand, but sadly the time has come to bid farewell and fight the Auckland traffic on the way to the airport. The next time here could quite possibly be sailing uh, Monastrell into Auckland Harbour. How awesome would that be? Next on Sailing Monastrell I have a stopover in Athens and spend a day quickly exploring some of the ancient ruins. The following day I fly to Prevesa to be reunited with Monastrell where I finally get to begin the epic adventure of sailing her back to Australia and to explore some of these beautiful places along the way. Well, it's down the road I go. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to be notified of uh, upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.